Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Martin Terrier card to review. Um, I never ended up reviewing the Player of the Month card. I know that some people were actually interested and I probably should have done it, but to be honest with you, I think at that point in the game, uh, the card kind of looked generic. He might have been really good. I don't know. I, I never ended up trying him out, but it's just one of those things. Uh, this card is a left-wing card, which is interesting if you did not do the Pyatt card, which, to be honest, I told you guys to do because the price was very nice for that card uh, for what he offers in-game. Uh, but this card's six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So he has the bare minimum requirements. Uh, in game player traits, he's got flare passes, flare, speed dribbler, as well as a finesse shot trait. So no outside foot shot trait on this card. In game attributes. He's kind of strangely formatted. Yeah, he's strangely formatted because I'm looking at this card. Right. And by default, I want to give him an engine. You guys know how I am, right? Um, yeah, by default, I want to give him an engine because the engine chemistry style. <clears throat> the engine chemistry style would make him a controlled player. You can make him lengthy. Lengthy on a marksman. Lengthy on a marksman wouldn't be horrible. I think you would have to work with that agility and balance quite a bit, though, because of the fact that he's a taller player, but I wouldn't mind trying that out, actually. Because if he's played in the side positions, right, and he's a he's a lengthy on a marksman, and his shooting stats is where it's at with the finishing boost, it's not terrible. I just think the agility and balance is not something that you want to work with, unless he had, like, a unique body type. He has a lean body type. Okay. So... I mean, both of the options here is you make him a lengthy with a marksman and then you give him an engine uh, where you boost the dribbling as much. Yeah, but if you give him an engine, guys, here's the thing. I always tell you guys this, okay? So he's six foot tall. You give him an engine, but his dribbling is still low. So it's like, you know, it's like, you know, you're going to be using a player that may not dribble as well, you know, or he could. I don't know. That lean body type could be very beneficial. Definitely a very interesting situation, but we'll see what it's like. Base card stats for shooting does suggest... You may want to, you know, improve it with the finishing shot power long shot boost because Architect and Anchor doesn't really give him the right boost, in my opinion, to be really nice. Um, so we could definitely try him out on that at, uh, first. Passing on the card is going to be in a decent area, so no problem there. Defensive stats, he has 90 heading accuracy, which is helpful with the six foot height. Marksman would also give him a jumping boost, which, again, could be very helpful to work with. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the SBC and I'll show you guys how we line him up in game. Okay, so we need to test out the dribbling first of the card while making him a lengthy player. So let's give him a marksman. Afterwards, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, I don't even think you can give him an engine because, I mean, it still makes sense to boost the shooting, right? So I would still give him a finisher, probably. But the finisher, the, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to, like, mess with the dribbling as much as it needs to be, right? That's the thing. But we'll see. We'll see what the dribbling is like. Again, he does have the lean body type, so it could be an interesting variable to work with. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but we'll play with the 4-2-3-1. Um, Ray, I could play here, actually. And then, yeah, we'll use the rest of it like this. Interior up, up top with the accelerates being the way that it is. Okay, uh, let's go try him out. See what he's like. They've given it away. This is how the visitors will set up today. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Ashraf Hakimi... Hmm, maybe I should have gone for a law pass there instead. Oh, I didn't expect it to go like super far when I made that pass, you know? Also the goalkeeper, Courtois saves. Probably better to do like a driven shot there. Ah, oh, shouldn't have shot that way. I do the skill moves. Like I said, when the goalie gets closer, you gotta do extra stuff, man. Nice. Scores that opportunity. Good angle to score from, to be honest. Yeah, so I try to work with the dribbling a little bit there. Which you're gonna have to work with a tiny bit once you get into those like defensive situations. Now can they make something 
happen. Yeah, I was always gonna get blocked. I have to do some extra stuff there. Okay then, let's uh keep it going. Sorry, I had to do the uh, Centurion pack first. I had to like go back to it, and, uh, you know. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Got to get the uh, the looped shot there on the outside foot and stuff. I'll tell you guys this right now, attacking AI-wise, I wouldn't recommend them as a striker. I almost got that, uh, that pass off, it would've been good. Another loop there, actually. Uh, I did a fake shot, so whatever. I clearly see my controller doing it. Nice finish, Terrier. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, dude. No power behind that strike. Need more power, my G. Ah, oh, try to get on the green there for a low percent strike. Useful looking position, you've got to say. It might be. No, I should have probably just shot it to be honest. The roulette uh, kind of made it less consistent, I would say. On his left foot, first time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I thought he was kind of generic at first. But I'm not gonna lie to you, playing him in the right sided position, the card's actually pretty usable. You know what it is? Because the dribbling mechanics work, I always tell you guys this, but it works differently this year, where it's like, okay, he's got a lean body type. So lean body type is compensating for the low agility and bounce by quite a bit. Like, look at this. It's not actually that bad. See, those areas, that's where you gotta be mindful of the dribbling a little bit more. Oh, nice try. Putting up the green on it. Good goal. Good build up, good build up. All right. All right. Great finish. Oh, oh, close, close, close. Lionel Messi. Could play it in. Oh, so I'm going to the box. I was like, you know what? Might actually be good here. Nice. Good goal. Good goal. Good goal. Opportunity in the wide area. Oh, I hit the post. Is it green? Okay. Yep. Sure. Sounds good. Um, I mean, you can clearly see in that situation there with his run, his length, he definitely helps him out quite a bit. But when it comes down to the actual dribbling, the dribbling is... It's not horrible, right? It's just not as bad as it would be in previous years. You know what I'm saying? And his lean body type is definitely compensating well enough for it. Oh, I hit that on a red. Unlucky. I actually think that was going to be a good shot by him. Okay. 
We get lucky though because it goes through the guy's legs. We don't know if that's actually going to happen. I mean, he he's not playing as generic as I thought he would. I'm not going to lie. Maybe from the wide position. And he's made headway. Man, he made such a good run. That law pass was horrendous. With just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Will it be? Must be. Sounds good. Good stuff, good stuff. You can see the agility and balance part of the card. I'm not going to say that you can't, okay? So when you come up against the park the bus stuff and you're putting pressure against the defenders, you're going to notice that from time to time. But I feel like if you're going to use this card in your team, it has to be on, a, on an accelerative lengthy because he's going to do this, right? He's going to make those types of movements for you and then you kind of have to work around that because he is attacking AI-wise, moving into spaces properly in the side positions. Uh, once he gets it onto his right foot, he does strike the ball pretty nicely for the most part. So... Like, that type of stuff kind of surprised me because I thought it would feel more generic, you know? It's these plays here, right? So if I go here, he's already coming that fullback. I have this run here, and then I can use the, the length, the accelerate to get past if I make a proper pass. You see how his movement pushes him to the side there? Or not to the side, excuse me. It pushed him into the middle area when he made the run. Ah, uh, I gotta go a closer there. Okay, let's first goal there. It's a good run. The length he makes him do that push a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Good build up. Good build up. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Terrier card. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. He surprised me a little bit. He did surprise me a little bit. I didn't think he was as horrible as I initially thought he would be. Now, this is a concept card, right? So concept cards, you know, with them, you know, releasing these cards for like 40, 50 K uh, for the types of links you could be potentially working with because of him being a striker, left mid, uh, left wing to be positioned in your team. You know, that's the type of stuff that you're going to be working with. But Here's the thing. So if I'm going to get this card, right, I feel like making him a lengthy is what's going to allow you to utilize this card properly. Why? Because he's six foot tall, right, with a lean body type. So the lean body type for this year's meta of FIFA, it does compensate for his dribbling well, but not like in a crazy amount, right? Because obviously with agility and balance, you do notice that in the game. And obviously, if you're up against the defensive pressure, you're going to notice that as well. But other than the fact that his dribbling is going to be sometimes weird, he's pretty good at doing everything else. His attacking AI in the side positions. I was using him as a striker. I'm like, no, I need to put him in the side positions right away, right? You could, you could just tell right away when you use these types of cards. When I was using him in the right-sided area, he did make proper attacking AI runs. Uh, when I did get into the right positions at the right time and I try to go green time my shots or going for high percentage strikes, he shot the ball pretty nicely. His base card stats were paced at a 92 acceleration, 94 sprint speed while working with the lengthy works out pretty well in game two. Like you can see that when I'm going on those counter attacks and I have to do like the ball roll driven, you know, the basic FIFA mechanic nonsense, right? He still positioned himself perfectly fine to score the opportunities. Now, like I said, because this is a very park the bus oriented game, the part that is going to annoy you is going to be the agility and balance. But if you get past that a little bit, and you just work with that one drag touch, that one attacking AI run, the card is not as bad as I initially thought. He actually performs pretty decently. I'm not going to lie to you. When you give him that marksman chemistry style and you play him specifically in that side area, preferably on the right side, he's actually not that bad to work with. So 
Uh, is he better than someone like Payet? No, I think Payet's SPC was an absolute W when, in regards to him being like, what, 75, 80K at the time. Um, so, you know, because the reason why I'm comparing it to Payet is because he, you see how he's a left wing uh, with Payet. You could switch him from striker, left wing, and cam, and obviously the card's great. Like this card, you could give him a hunter or an engine. I preferably use engine because you guys know how I am. The dribbling, it makes more sense for an engine because you boost the balance and agility to be in a nice area. Uh, he's a controlled player, you know, on engine, it works out great. You guys can see the Neymar review. He's still an absolute monster for me, right? Preferably in the side positions because he also has that dribble thing to him as well. But I mean, the card wasn't as bad as I thought, to be honest with you guys. So if you want to unlock it to work with some chemistry links in your team and work with a decent card that you are willing to work with the agility and balance, then cool. If I'm playing top tier meta FIFA though, obviously I want the agility and balance to be a little bit higher for how the game kind of plays out in general. But it's a usable card. Like I said, I thought he was going to be way more generic, and he wasn't. He actually performed pretty decently. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.